episode, we did quadratic functions. We used our coordinates on a graph to find our equation. In today's episode, we'll be using our equation to plot the graph. If you missed the last episode, feel free to go and check it on Technology for All Academy YouTube channel with the number 4 as a number, not F-O-R. Good day. My name is Tawa Makove. I'm your tutor and the founder of Technology for All Academy, a division of Above Supply and ICT Solutions. In our topic today, we have this information given f at x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3 plus the graph of f at x. And here's our condition thing to plot the graph. Before we can even start by plotting the graph, from our equation that we are given, we can already we can already establish few things. Like for example, as you can check here, we have x squared, and it's positive. What does it tell us? I think you already have the answer the same way as I'm, I'm having. Our A being positive, it means we have a positive A, meaning our A is greater than zero, and if our A is greater than zero or it's positive A, what do we have? Means our graph will be a happy face. We'll be having a happy face graph. And if we have a happy face, what else do we have? Our happy face tells us we are positive in life, as you can see. We are positive in life. We are positive in life. Our A is positive. And it also tell us, tells us that we have minimum problems. We have minimum problems. Minimum problems being, being what? Our minimum turning point. So from our equation, A being positive, it already tells us we have a happy face graph or a graph that's pointing upwards. We have a minimum turning point. Okay, let me carry on. We already know. Where are the tagging? We already know the shape of our graph. So, without any hesitation, let me start the. Let me start to, to, to plot my graph. The first thing that we're going to do is to find our x and y intercept. So we know for x intercept, for x intercept, we let y equal to 0. Meaning we're going to have x squared minus 2x. Remember that f at x is the same as y minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. We factorize our expression. We have x in the first bracket, x in the second bracket is equal to 0. We want factors that when we multiply them, they are going to give us minus 3. And when we add them or subtract them, 
they are moving to give us minus two. So what are those factors? And then we're gonna have positive one and minus three. Positive one by minus three is minus three. And minus three plus one gives us minus two. So our x is equal to negative one or x is equal to three. Okay. Let me use the red highlighter. We have negative one and we also have three. We have negative one, we have ne and we also have three as our x intercept. And for for our y intercept we get x equal to zero. So for our y intercept y intercept let x equal to zero. Then y is equal to we're going to have let me already jump zero squared minus two into zero minus three meaning our y intercept is negative three. This our our y intercept let me use the red the red marker again for the y intercept there's our y intercept last but not least we have to get our turning point and to get our turning point there are three methods that we can use to get our turning point we can use the x is equal to minus b over 2a and it will give us the x coordinate and then we can substitute the x coordinate in the original equation. We can use a derivation, we derive our equation and then we let it equal to zero so that we can solve for x and then we use the x coordinate in the original equation to get the y coordinate and last but not least we can complete this way and we'll get both our x and y coordinate let me start by using x is equal to minus b over 2a x equal to minus b over 2a which is we have our minus 2 it's our b our b is minus 2 over 2a our a is 1 which is negative by negative is positive 2 divided by 2 we have x is equal to 1 that's our turning point x is equal to y. That's our x coordinate of the turning point. And we substitute that y in our original equation. So we're going to have y minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 minus mm. yes, minus 2 minus 3 not minus 4 it's our 3 so minus 2 minus 3 gives us minus 5 minus 5 plus 1 gives us minus 4 that's our y coordinate meaning our 
swimming point will be one and four. And as I said, there are two other methods that we can also find the x coordinate. I'm only go I'm only gonna do the x coordinate since the y coordinate will still be the same method. Okay. We have our f at x, which is going to 2x, and then our power is 2 minus, you remember, uh, uh, when you derive, you take your power, or is it, your, your power in front, and you minus 1. Minus 2x, 1 minus 1. And then 3 will fall off. Which is going to be 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. We equate it to 0. Then we are going to have minus 2x equal to minus 2 divided both sides are minus 2 x is equal to 1 the same as the one that we got and then we substitute to the original equation we also f at x is equal to you can also complete as well x squared minus 2 x and then we have to get the half of our b coordinate and then square it meaning half of two of minus two is minus one and minus one by minus one when we square it is positive one plus one and then minus 3 since we well, we introduced the positive one we have to find the value that will eliminate our the, 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 the one that we introduced so we are going to use negative y it's equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 4 we have x minus 1 into x minus 1 minus 4 which gives us the thing that I wanted to skip this step, but then I thought again, skipping this step, maybe some of the people aren't aware what's happening. Uh, it will be like I did it, but we, we didn't get what you did. So, the thing that, I made, that made me to do this step is to show you that, for example, we're going to end up with x minus 1 squared minus 4. So that's the, I wanted to show you is x by x gives us x squared. x by negative 1 gives us negative x. Negative 1 by x gives us negative x. Negative 1 by negative 1 gives us positive 1. Negative x plus negative x gives us negative 2x which gives us what? x squared minus 2x plus 1 so this is our answer and then from this we have our coordinate x is equal to 1 and 
y is equal to minus 4. So I got the coordinates that I needed to plot my graph, I can start plotting my graph. That's how our graph will look like. It will turn out to 1 and 4. And our line of symmetry or axis of symmetry will be crossing at 1 going down vertically, vertically, opposite to the y axis. It will go down vertically, cross the turning point. Our range. Our range we have is x an element of minus 4 to infinity. That's our range and our domain we know is minus infinity to infinity. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and to leave some comments so that we can brush up where we are still lacking and improve what we need to improve. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy your day.